In today's video, I'll walk you through how a simple file upload vulnerability can lead to full remote code execution on the server. We'll test various bypass techniques, from MIME type changes to file signature spoofing, and finally upload a PHP shell. Let's begin. First, enter your email ID and upload a file, let's say HTML. Text. Then, make sure intercept is turned on in burp suite. Now observe the request, it shows the file type as GIF. This means the server is allowing GIF files. So let's try something. Change the file extension from text to GIF and send the request again. But still, nothing happens. Next, change the content type to image, gif and send the request again. Still no luck. Alright, let's try a different approach. Open a list of common file signatures and add a GIF signature at the beginning of the file, like GIF87A. Then send it again. Still doesn't work. Alright, let's try a different approach. Now let's modify it once more, use the signature GIF89A instead of GIF87A, and keep the content type as image, GIF. Send the request now and boom. It works. Now that the file has been successfully uploaded, let's proceed to get a reverse shell from the server. Now for the second step, let's upload a web shell. Copy the PHP shell code and paste it into a new file. Rename the file to something like HTML, PHP. Send the request with this file. In the response, you'll see a path like this. Less than a HR.
you'll see a path like this. Less than RHREF equals RP, TMP, HTML, PHP, greater than. Copy that link and open it in Firefox. The full URL will look something like RP, TMP, HTML, PHP. Once the shell opens, start typing commands like who am I, ls, and boom. We've successfully got remote code execution, RC, on the server. And that's how we turned a simple file upload into a complete remote code execution using just a few clever tricks. If you learned something new today, make sure to like, comment, and share this video. Also, don't forget to subscribe for more real-world hacking content like this. Keep learning, keep exploiting, and as always, hack the system before the system hacks you.